if this show is going to continue, we'll have to interview people like our guest tonight, Arthur Lane. In the eight years the show has been on TV, I've spoken with every important and unimportant actor, <laughs> from Paul Newman to the dog from Frasier. <laughs> so if this show is going to continue, I will have to interview people like our guest tonight, Mr. Arthur Lane. We begin with a 1999 classic, <laughs> The Bachelor. What was it like working with Renee Zellweger? Pretty good. I banged her. <laughs> what? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, actually, I banged an extra who worked on the film. <laughs> you know, certain movies employ this guy who wrangles up extras for the actors to have sex with. Who is this man? Oh, I only know him by his nickname. Which is? Mr. Chloroform. <laughs> you began your career on the delightfully written Mad TV. What was it like working on a wonderful sketch comedy program? Well, to tell you the truth, I really don't remember much of it, but um, I could tell you about the one time I got really coked up on the show. <laughs> you want to hear that? Yes. Students <laughs> take notes. <laughs> well, we were doing a parody of this show, Baywatch. It was called Babe Watch, where I played Babe the Pig. Of course. <laughs> as a lifeguard. I believe we have a clip of this magnificent acting trial. Oh. <laughs> Arthur Lang, you completely disappear in that role. Well, that's because I was wearing a pig nose and six teats. Amazing. I mean, well, anyway, you know, I called my cocaine dealer that day because I couldn't get through the sketch without doing cocaine because, uh, you know, I was really depressed and stuff. So he said to me, you got to meet me somewhere on the Pacific Coast Highway by where we were shooting. It was a wonderful place for cocaine. <laughs> And uh, I, I drove to the, the parking lot there, and I met the Rastafarian guy, and, um, and he gave me the cocaine. I bought, like, an eight ball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so I get back in the car, and I realize that I got to do a hit right away. So I put some on a key. They call it, like, a key hit of coke. And uh, what I did was I couldn't get it through the pig snout, so I just, I just tore a hole in the prosthetic pig snout. I did cocaine Very through the Very smart. Pig. Very Thank first. You. Improvise when you can, Thank you. Thank you. I get, uh, you know, the coke in my system, and now I get back on the Pacific Coast Highway. I drive to a red light, I stop at a red light, and I start to do more coke with the key. And I see this hot chick in a Lamborghini. Uh, yeah. And uh, she looks at me like she's on a bad acid trip because she sees a pig doing cocaine. <laughs> but it was, you know, it's L.A., so it was probably like the third pig she saw doing cocaine that day. That story has sent me to heaven. <laughs> now, in, in conclusion, Master Lang, I would like to ask you a series of questions from the famed questionnaire created by my mentor, Bernard Peebo. What is your favorite word? Beaver. <laughs> what turns you on? Filipino whores with highlights in their hair, blonde highlights. Very specific. Be specific, student. What turns you off? Finding out that the Filipino whore has a penis. And that's no fun if you're not into it, no. I got a feeling you're into it. I wouldn't say no the first time. What sound do you love? 
the sound of a Filipino whore feeding me pasta. <laughs> what profession would you like to attempt other than your own? You know, I think one day I'd like to grow a beard and interview actors on some gay show. <laughs> If heaven exists, Arthur Lang, what would you like God to say to you when you arrive at the pearly gates? The Filipino whores don't have penises and the buffet is to the right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Master Arthur Lang. <laughs> <laughs>